we had some simple fun at Don Quixote's. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. That, we, uh, that that was a great tradition of introducing uh, yeah. our new faculty. Uh, yeah, that uh, it's. Um, we'll have to let the audience. Uh, the way I the did, secret. Yeah. <laughs> so, in um, I, I I had a very close Spanish friend in Toronto, Manuel Corbera, and uh, and he, and he introduced me to this. Uh, Spanish restaurant called Don Quixote. It no, it no longer exists. Uh, but uh, it, it was just a little, uh, you know, maybe uh, a 30-seater uh, restaurant. But upstairs was uh, uh, sort of where they did the flamingo, flamingo dance, uh, yeah. dancers. And uh, so uh, uh, Greg and I would, would go there uh, and then uh, we would, uh, and, and then when we were lucky enough to get uh, Paul Cortan on board, I must say we would have some tremendous but simple evenings of, of, uh, of eating downstairs, going upstairs with our Spanish coffee, and, uh, uh, and sometimes more than Spanish coffee. And uh, watching the flamingo, flamingo dancer. dancers, and uh, well, we uh, shared the greatest paella. Pae I'm not sure how you say it, paellas, yeah, or paellas, uh, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, they were great. It was phenomenal. And yeah. every time when Paul came on board, we had a great celebration. And then when Gabe came, yes, uh, yeah. another celebration. Unfortunately, uh, when Gary joined, I think uh, Don Quixote it had was already long gone. Had long gone. gone. But uh, anyway, was, Viva La España is oh, all, will always be. Uh, yeah a very sort of special part in our little hearts. <laughs>